What's good with you? This video right here is about the Israelite camps. You know those camps. They go into a Christian church. I want you to see this. I ain't going to play the whole thing. I'll leave the link or whatever. As you can see, the link is already up there too. But I'll leave it also. But this argument is about the dietary law. Now, as soon as you start reading the Bible good, you start to see what you're supposed to be able to eat and what not. Now, some of us still in the debate about a lot of it. But the biggest thing you can't debate is pork, right? That's the, like one of the main things, right? Because you got to think. It's clean and it's unclean. It's things that you can eat and it's things that you are not supposed to eat because they're not good for you. Right? The vegetables actually supposed to be our meat. But we got exceptions because we can eat certain things other than that. Right? So... I don't know if y'all out there eating pork and lobster, crab, all those shellfish, but you know, that's that's something that we ain't supposed to really be rocking with. Uh, catfish, you know, the, the, the fish with no, no scales, we ain't supposed to mess with those. And it's certain fish and stuff that we eat, it's certain things that we eat that we don't know. So I just want to bring it in the light, you know, it's... It's, it's a bunch of cleanup crew that the Most High made to clean up that we eat and we consume and all these shrimp, you know. And they put it as a delicacy to make us really want it and then we really got to pay for it. Or either they sneak it in our meals, they stretch out our beef and whatever you want to eat, they stretch that out with pork. So you always got to be careful what you're eating out here. But listen to this. That's been 30 years ago, man, 40 years ago. It's just a matter of God. I took it in my life. But God, but God had to live with him, you know, of all of us. Hey, Amen. This is it. That's a re regeneration of one of the fundamental doctrines in Revelation to salvation. And every definition of the work of the Spirit and understanding of the revelation. That's called the breakdown. Did, I don't even, did he just call him a nigga? Did he say this nigga? I don't know. I might have been tripping, but what he's having is a complete breakdown. You shouldn't have to go that hard right there. His blood pressure up. He said you're going to obey the laws. That pastor just ate pig before he came in there. He just ate a piece of pork chop. They probably got it cooking back there in the back. You know, they're going to come serve all the reverends and everything. They got some pork chops somewhere. Before it happens. That's a 
look at this guy. Skipped all over the firmament, all over the, the dietary laws and everything. The bloodlines and everything. And he trying to teach. He going to teach people. You know, I don't know everything. And I'm going to tell you, I don't know everything. But I know. <laughs> I know that this dude is a joke. Just his eyes alone got me. Now listen to, listen to how he gonna justify eating pigs and stuff. Filthy was not. It don't it say was clean and was unclean. I mean this this pastor right here, all he misses is, is that uh huh uh huh. That's enough, right? Y'all could watch the rest of that one, man. Y'all are going to have a blast. Trust me. This guy right here. All preachers really got to do is look at you in your eyes and act like they mean what they say. And when they confused about what they saying, they look around to see what's going on around them if people are agreeing. Because the people going to agree because don't nobody want to be wrong. <laughs> they want to be all right. And you know how I go. You know how these people is. Sorry about that. All he got to do is just stare around the room and see, uh, is he nodding his head? Is he saying amen? Yes. All right. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Watch this. He had his boy back so much. These is, uh, this this pastor rob a church and uh, Deacon get the money. Oh, he's running. He don't want to talk about nothing else. He didn't already hit him with a couple more subjects, evidently, that was hard to answer. So, I'll get back. <laughs> 